Hi, I'm Tom Martin. I'm one of the pilots that participates every year at uh, the World War I reenactment at Palmell, Tennessee. And I'm glad you chose to join us for the virtual reenactment that the folks down at the uh, Sergeant Alvin C. York State Historical Park put on for us. And while I'm disappointed that we aren't going to be able to participate in person this year, I am pleased to be able to present a short video uh, for you that I hope you'll find both enjoyable and entertaining. My goal with this video is to hopefully pique some interest in World War I aviation, uh, fascinating history, and, uh, and just kind of give you a short glimpse uh, of, of what we do with our airplanes and, and maybe just the smallest peak of what it might have been like to be a World War I aviator. Uh, I would like to mention they, they put up with some conditions and uh, some, some issues and problems that were unique to that time. And whereas they didn't have some of the problems that the infantry had, they didn't have to put up with mud, uh, vermin, uh, just the general filth of the trenches, they did have other things that made their lives just as strenuous, just as stressful, and arguably more deadly. They uh, had to put up with stuff like uh, flying daily in combat, uh, both air to air and air to ground. They would often fly at 15 to 20,000 feet for one to two hours with no supplemental oxygen. A very unreliable engine. Engines failed all the time. Machine guns jammed all the time. Uh, very thin air, extreme cold. All this in an open cockpit airplane that burned fairly easily. And they had no parachutes. These factors and others gave those guys a, uh, a higher casualty rate even than the infantry. And when we're talking about World War I casualty rates, that's, that's saying something. They were an impressive bunch. They uh, daily carried out their duties, pilots on all sides did, from day one of the war to the very last day of the war. They, uh, and they, they had an impact on the outcome of that war far greater than is normally acknowledged. Theirs is a history that is both rich and colorful. To learn about these young men, the airplanes they flew, the war they flew under the conditions they did, is time well spent. Enjoy the video. Remember, it's the pen that's bad. Don't lay the blame on me. <laughs> 